As we've been reporting, many people are now concerned over whether our area has enough vaccine to meet the demand. And there are also questions over who should get priority for the vaccines and can they keep you from transmitting COVID? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has those answers. Our first question comes from Erica, who asks, why don't we prioritize vaccines for young people? After all, they're the ones out and about spreading the virus to others. Erica, there are good reasons for and against prioritizing almost any group for a vaccine. Indonesia does plan to vaccinate its young working age population before the at-risk elderly. While in New Jersey, the debate is should smokers get a shot ahead of teachers because they're at greater risk for lethal COVID pneumonia. Every group has valid reasons for moving up in line, so there's no right answer as long as vaccine supplies are limited. But an important consideration in answering Erica's question is actually part of what Robin asks. Can a vaccinated person still spread corona to others? Robin, the short and unsatisfying answer is, unfortunately, we don't know, at least not yet. Both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines have been very good at preventing symptomatic COVID-19 disease, including severe COVID-19. However, the clinical trials did not measure whether a person who is vaccinated is less likely to spread the virus to someone else. It's theoretically possible that a vaccinated person could still harbor the coronavirus, not get sick from it because of the vaccine, but still be able to spread it. We will eventually know whether a vaccinated but still infectious population actually exists. But until we get that answer, it argues against vaccinating a younger super spreader population. They're at lower risk for serious disease and a vaccine should protect them. But we won't know if the vaccine will keep them from spreading the virus to more vulnerable populations. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And for more of Dr. Max's answers to your vaccine questions, just go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.